grammar is always a problem for me no matter how much hard i study grammar is always a problem 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 and probably because of that i'm getting so less scores in my ielts probably in writing reading also you need grammar a lot of grammar shortcuts listening in fact and definitely speaking well if you're wondering is there any video that can give me seven grammar shortcuts for a straight seven band and trust me this video is for you make sure you watch the video till the end Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills Isles. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with it. Another video. Today's video is all about that seven grammar shortcuts for a straight seven band in IELTS. Before we get into the video, if you are subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. At any point of time, you need online assistance. You can WhatsApp us to the number given right below there. We will be there. I will be there to help you guide you in the right direction. All right, let's get into the video directly without wasting any time. I'm just sharing my screen. The seven grammar shortcuts for a band seven. It need not be band seven, even for a band eight. The same seven grammar shortcuts will work. The shortcut number one, use the tense concept. Present tense, past tense, future tense, present perfect tense, present continuous tense, past perfect tense, past perfect continuous, a lot many things are there. Twelve tenses are there. Use them correctly. What I mean is, in the essay, you need not have the complete knowledge on all the tenses. You just need to have knowledge on one tense. That is called present tense. In the essay, to represent a fact, always you represent facts in the essay, right? For example, or it could be any sort of thing. Use present tense. So what exactly I mean by that? Look at this particular sentence. There are many reasons why television is bad for young people. Firstly, Children are watching it for prolonged duration due to addictive content. A lot many people don't realize the mistakes they're doing. To make it right, it looks as if it's all perfect. Are watching, avoid using it because I told use present tense. Are watching is not present tense, it's present continuous tense. Then what am I supposed to use? Are watching is present continuous, means something that's happening right now. We want present tense to represent a fact which is always true. Then use just verb one are watching becomes watch children watch it for a long or prolonged duration not are watching hope you're getting it these kind of things avoid or some people use children watched verb two they use no just put present tense. children have been watching not required children have watched not required lot many things like this there's a bigger problem towards your writing score because grammar scores will go down Hope you're getting it. That's the shortcut number two. Shortcut number one rather. Let's this is gonna be a short series, short video series. The shortcut number two. Use the subject verb agreement correctly. What is the subject verb agreement? It's very simple. Subject is a noun, verb, subject, and a verb. Noun and a verb agrees on an agreement that if you are singular noun in the present tense for a verb, add as he eats, not eat. He ate is different in the present tense. Yes, will come for a singular noun. For a plural noun, no, yes. He eats, they eat. He eats, they eat. Remember this. This is subject verb agreement on a layman's term. In a layman's term, rather. They eat. Here, yes, is not there because they is plural. Here, yes, is there because he is singular. Using this, lot many things we can do. And if you avoid such mistakes of subject verb agreement, you are scores will improve for example let's have a look at the statement there are many reasons why television is bad for young people firstly children watch us simply people end up writing children is plural children is like they they eat not eats hope you're getting it so now they eat children watch watches is wrong if you write a child then it becomes watches if you write a child watch wrong so these are the silly simple errors because of which your scores could be always stuck in 5.5 or 6 or 6.5 and never seven. Need not be in writing, even in speaking, you can make use of this concept. All right, that's the shortcut number two. Shortcut number three, use mix of complex compound sentences. When you consider grammar, sentence formation is a big ocean in it. In that, always try to use these three simple things. Simple, sen simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence. For example, let's have a look at this particular paragraph. There are many reasons why television is bad for young children. Firstly, children watch it for a prolonged duration. This is due to addictive content. For example, media has produced a lot of enticing content. This makes children glue to the screen. Four simple sentences is written, are written rather. You all this will not give scores well. You have to mix the compound and complex sentences right below. I have given 
the simple example of the same by beautifying the sentence and using compound and complex sentence concept let's have a look at this there are many reasons why television is bad for young people firstly children watch it for prolonged duration and i removed the full stop and added a connector and this is due to addictive content now a simple and has made it compound sentence easy peasy isn't it so for example media has produced a lot of enticing content remove this i can again add 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 and again it becomes a compound sentence but i want a complex sentence you can use complex sentences in many ways possible you can make use of the word since although though even though if or no when all those words if you're not comfortable with this then you can use which relative clause this is also considered a complex sentence media has produced a lot of enticing content which makes children full stop this makes i'm going to remove the full stop and add which makes children glued to the screen easy peasy simple ones but you should have the accumulation of the knowledge same things will reflect in the exam always remember whatever is here the same thing will appear in the score report here you accumulate good things score report will be very good to see <laughs> all eight seven point five here if you accumulate wrong things then the same thing bad scores five point five six will be evident make use of this convert this to this remember to use these shortcuts all right let's go to the shortcut number for use model verbs when required model verbs are may might shall should will would ought um, can could all these are model verbs why we need them they actually convey the meaning in a much better way let's have a look at these two sentences there are many reasons why television is bad for young people firstly children watch it for a prolonged duration but i'm not sure all the children will watch children may watch it for a prolonged duration the second sentence here compared to the first one conveys the meaning in a better effective way agree disagree make use of this no your marks will go down these are all the vocabulary and grammar scores completely goes up you avoid them things probably may not fall in place hope you are getting it so that's the rule number four whenever possible use the word shall should may might uh, can could will would definitely falls in place the marks can is for ability could is for a request may and might is a possibility should is um, compulsion will is a futuristic thought 100 percent i am sure this will happen so when you're very confident of the event occurring then you use the word will so this way this is a big chapter but uh, based on the knowledge you have wherever possible make use of this model verbs definitely comes handy all right so the fifth grammar shortcut that i would like to project here is use articles for countable nouns articles are ye and the a uh, and the these three are very very important whenever a noun is a countable noun means something that you can count see sugar you cannot count you cannot say a sugar person you can count a person apple you can count an apple can i just say apple i eat apple wrong sentence you need to say i eat apples or i eat an apple hope you're getting it so let's let's look at this particular paragraph here if you see here if individual individual is countable one two three then it is not just individual you can say if individuals then no need of connectors or you say if an individual otherwise gone case getting it a will come uh, for a e i o u will come for a vowel pronouncing sound rest consonants will be used for other things an apple not an boy getting it right so now here an will come an individual gathers here a man a person upcoming unknown event so here you need to say an upcoming unknown event because event is countable idea is very simple feedback helps trust me on this if you wish to have feedback then please text us in the whatsapp it's a paid course you get everyday feedback there we fix all this mistakes but if you're competent enough to understand things on your own then try to implement add the linking sorry the articles wherever possible so that the marks goes up that's the only idea uh, if you just write like this if individual for instance man without a then marks will definitely go down that's a simple trick here if you're confused when to use uh, when to use and when to use without articles then don't worry for anything any noun use see you can simply put the it will work 
that's one of the simplest rules whenever you think you're confused should i put a or should i put an or should i put the i'm getting confused or should i not put anything just put the it will work that means the any noun you can put the word the okay if you're getting confused just put the if the individual for instance the man as the person saves or the upcoming unknown event that also will work just giving you another shortcut like i told you any point of time you need feedback you can enroll with us it's a paid course we will guide in the right direction all right sixth one use adjectives as modifiers are very very important why this is important this comes under vocabulary conveys the meaning in a much better way for example here to begin with saving money for the future goals provides happiness extreme happiness if vocabulary score is going up remember this now if you see saved money will provide him or her with joy with great joy a man who saved up his income entire income adjectives to buy his bike dream bike feel happiness ultimate happiness or an event an event was perfect but we added two modifiers upcoming unknown event all these modifiers are adjectives you make use of adjectives man it's simple it's actually very simple it's just that you need to be aware of these things accumulate the necessary knowledge and the same thing you have to implement vocabulary score will go up vocabulary is not just about using high five words always remember it's using apt words and wherever required use modifiers to convey the meaning much more in an effective manner all right the last one use adverbs when required we just talked about adjectives see noun is there noun is like a monkey does some action the action is represented as verb noun is there it's like a monkey it has some characteristics the characteristic is represented in adjective monkey is good adjective monkey walks monkey cries that's a verb so now you have a noun you have verb and adjective adverb comes here hope you are getting it hope you are getting it this is a noun it does some action represented as verb it does it has characteristics represented as adjective further if you want to represent the adjective or a verb you represent them as adverbs now pay more attention he eats how he eats quickly quickly is adverb he is good how good is he he is extremely good extremely is adverb which further which further describes an adjective or which further describes a verb so now pay more attention i've got a very simple sentence to help you understand in a much better way he is good how good is he you can write instead of writing he is good you can say he is extremely good this ly is an adverb you you need to make use of these things to shake to showcase the knowledge that you have that you have accumulated otherwise how will the examiner know no cool i know everything then right <laughs> isn't it so the same way she sings she sings nicely he walks he walks briskly or quickly he walks slowly the addition of an adverb actually portrays or um, gives or expresses or conveys a better meaning hope you are getting it so if you're getting confused watch the video again and when you write an essay or when you start speaking in iel speaking practice make sure you follow these things this will work all the seven shortcuts will work for speaking and writing majorly hope you are getting it i really hope this video made sense we have i believe produced good content here for you to subscribe to our channel and like the video if you really feel good about our channel then do leave a comment as to how you felt about it and do subscribe if you're new to this channel very soon i'll be back nakul will be back with a lot of new informative content keep watching skills iles till then take care bye bye